And a few days later, there was some more ammunition to chase Hartlepool. Dean Holdsworth, a stalwart of Wimbledon and Bolton in the Premiership, arrived to boost the strike force. He is going to be an experience the team. Obviously, he's got played loads of games in the Premiership. Uh, knowledge to younger players, uh, encouragement, hopefully goals, leadership qualities on the pitch, and it gives me an option as well, competition for places. And he wants to be with a successful club who's going to hopefully go for something this season. We're going for promotion. Uh, we want to win our last seven games to put pressure on Hartley Pools. So we've added him to the squad to hopefully do that. Brian called me on Wednesday, uh, stated his ambitions, and um, it felt right. It felt right. I spoke to a good friend of mine and Brian, uh, Sam Allardyce, and he said this would be... Uh, good situation for me to come away from Coventry and, um, and enjoy it and hopefully help them. Then there was a chance for the fans to get a glimpse of the new boy, aged 35 with 208 career goals to his name. And he seemed immediately to gel with partner Derby, nodding on to almost create a second goal. Marcus Bignett then set up the new boy. He controlled, but the keeper was equal to the shot. Then the new number nine darted into the box, beat the defence, but again the keeper was on hand. Did you feel like a Ruston player already? Yeah, it made me very welcome, very pleased to be here. And um, there's a good bunch of lads here, which is uh, always nice to be welcomed into the dressing room. And hopefully I can add something to the team as well. I've got a good little team, I mean, obviously the league table shows that, but we needed a little bit more experience and guile, and it came out of the blue really, um, Dean Holdsworth was always, all of a sudden available from Coventry, and um, he rang his ex-manager Sam Allardyce to say, Is there anyone want, would anyone want me? And Sam rung me, and I said, please, uh, <laughs> give me his number, and I rang him and he was so keen to come. It and wasn't until so just before half time the game really got going for Rushton. Dean Holdsworth firing in his first goal for the club during his first start at Nenfar. Bell turned supplier for the third, his free kick flicked on by Andy Edwards for Holdsworth second, leaving them four points clear at the top of the table. But no celebrations for the players yet, they want to seal the title at Orient next Saturday. I think next Saturday we'll stay focused for that game and um, you know, really try and do it in style now, let's you know, really enjoy it and really do get championship would be nice.